Hello, this is Joe Reagan, and in this video I would like to illustrate the use of the linear sketch pattern. Of course that is a tool inside sketch. So I've created a sketch and now I'll add some geometry. For this illustration I'll be making a staircase stringer. Okay, so I'll set the vertical distance to 7.75 that's the maximum stringer uh, maximum riser height and then I'll set the horizontal to 11 inches that's a typical tread width and fit now I'm going to create a construction line that represents my overall stair height so I'll need to add a dimension from the origin and we'll let this stair height be 120 inches. Now I'm ready to create a pattern. So I only want one instance in the X direction. I want 20 instances in the Y direction. I know that will be at least enough. Now I'll choose the entities that I want to pattern. So I have the two entities. Now I need to change the spacing and I'm going to go ahead and run it at some angle that will change when I drive it with a, another dimension. But I don't want any vertical relationships to lock in. So I'm going to run that at 30 degrees. And I can exit the pattern tool by hitting the green check mark. And now, of course, I want the base of the second riser connected to the tread here. So I'll merge those points. And I inspect up here and I see I have one, two, three, four too many steps. So I'll come down and if I click on one of these features, then the pattern feature will show up here. I can right click, edit the pattern there, and of course the number of entities showed up here. I'll go ahead and edit pattern. We wanted to reduce this by four, so I only need 16 steps. And now you see the steps don't come out even there at 7.75. That number needs to reduce by some amount, so I'll delete that dimension and come up here and add a relationship to make the overall height correct. So I'll make these collinear. And notice the geometry is black indicating it's fully constrained. We'll come down here and verify that all of the risers changed to the same number. It looks like they did. All right, so now I'll go ahead and close this profile. Now I need to set the angle, so I'll create a construction line along the tips of the risers. Make that construction line in this back side of the stringer. We want them to be parallel. And now I need a smart dimension to give the board width. And we're going to set that to 11.25 inches. Now the geometry is fully constrained. And I can exit the sketch. To show that the profile is closed, I'll go ahead and create an extruded base. And I'll do it mid-plane in a thickness of 1.5 inches. And this solid geometry representing the stair stringer has been created. Of course, we can go back in and edit the sketch. And if you want to drive it from a different dimension rather than driving it with the tread width, you can delete the tread width 
dimension and say you might want to drive it with the overall length and maybe we would like to shorten that to 170 inches and that would adjust each tread to the correct dimension and then there would be your new geometry. Hope this helps you learn to use linear patterns inside the sketch tool. Thank you.